Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the server called play.skyk.net. Once you go to that server, you then click on the Skyblock server, and that's where we're playing, Skyblock. I, you may have seen from my last video, I have the island, I've created it, and I'm in the process of exan expanding what you see below this island. Last week I built downward using the water stream, and now I'm going to go down and expand the area beneath it. I'll get back to you in just a moment. I'm back, and I have created a cobblestone generator. I have a good video on that that you can reference. I will put in the description. I built the cobblestone generator on this platform because this is where I need it the most. I've gathered a great deal of cobblestone, and now I'm going to expand this area because my island is way up there. So let's get started. Now here I am building out the island surface platform and I've sped up the video because this takes a while and I didn't want it to be terribly boring. But we should expand this out. I've used up in a whole inventory of cobble. I'll have to make some more. With the cobble gen it won't be difficult. I can make more and be back to go ahead and make this platform even larger. Now, what I'm going to work on next is I'm going to go to spawn and work on turning in some voting keys. So I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, I'm back, and I want to show you what I have acquired using voting keys on this server, play.skycade.net, and I had a lot of voting keys, so I actually got a silver they call it a silver steel. It's efficiency three, unbreaking two. Three enchanted apples. Up here is another of those silver steel picks. A villager spawn egg. Iron leggings, which you protect, prot two, protection two, unbreaking. Iron boots, helmet, and chest plate, all iron protection two, unbreaking one. I've got the iron sword, which is sharpness two. I have got the lunar rod, which will allow me to do a lot of fishing. It has some really good options, levels, whatever you call them. Enchantments, duh. I have three ocelot eggs. I have a wolf spawn egg, two polar bear eggs, eight golden apples. Showed you that already. I have two cow spawners, the sea lanterns, the glowstone, jack o' lanterns and 16 redstone lamps. There's 16 of each of the light sources. And that's going to help me a lot. Okay, I am back and I have donned my armor. And I am doing another push to make the island platform bigger. While that is happening, I would like to take some time to explain to you something that I try to explain each and every video. The main reason I make YouTube content is I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. 
so you know when I produce videos. Now that that has been explained, I want to talk about what I'm going to do after I finish building out this platform. Obviously, or maybe not so obviously, this platform is being built out so one, I can mine the island above it and won't lose any of the things that fall in the void. And two, this will give me a building space to work with and build out so that I can build more than just a cobble generator. This will allow me to build out the island and meet some of the goals I would like to do for this season. As you can see here, the distance from the island above, which is where I appear when I do forward slash IS all the way down to the bottom, is quite far. You'll die if you don't land in water. I will be back in a moment with my next update and the next task that I am going to work on. Okay, where am I now? I am actually at the arena. This is where PvP, player versus player, is actually allowed. What am I doing? I am gathering points for each of these blocks that I mine. It turn, then turns to obsidian and I get points which I can then use to shop in the what is called the O shop and that's what I'm trying to collect points for so that I can use those points to purchase an auto sell chest anything you dump in the chest automatically gets sold now I said PvP which is player versus player and that doesn't always work out they don't even care what I'm doing as long as I'm in the PvP area they're gonna kill me the worst thing is that's not the last time that it happened here I am gathering some more points and I got hit by somebody invisible. Can you believe that? <laughs> and it happened again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> I am back. And for those of you that were wondering why I did not have armor on, or use a better pick I would lose those items if I had gotten killed which I obviously did many times and they don't exactly give your stuff back so as you can see here I have created some places for the trees planted the two trees that I had oak and these right here shelter boxes need some explanation turns out I was online someone says who wants I've got 10 shelter boxes who wants one when I responded he asked how many I wanted I said 10 and he gave me 10 so that will help me move my stuff around later <laughs> here you see me mining out the rest of this area this has got me a lot of dirt and I'm also getting some stone and other things more importantly it opens up this whole area and presents a nice area to build in the future I'm actually leaving in the wood frame around the edges just because it's interesting and I kind of like it. As you can see here, the 
topmost layer has been expanded. I've removed the trees and I'm back to work down here on the bottom layer, adding more vegetables to the growing area and expanding on the trees, both harvesting the ones that have grown and now I'm increasing the number of plots that I can put trees. Okay, I am going to show this as a time lapse. I spent a lot of time working on things, but not a lot of progress, or I could should say it was a slow progress. Added a large pool so it's easier to fall from above and not die. Harvested trees and planted crops. All to increase productivity on the island. And there are no more trees appear. I'm creating more blocks to allow for more trees to be planted. And I'm also going to get some green grass and plant them so that this land around the trees, dirt around the trees will become covered in grass. What am I going to work on next? I may work with villagers and farms. Or I may work with larger farms collecting resources. Either way, I am going to have to call it for this video. So let me just say, see you next time, and goodbye.